Hello, I'm Ben Thompson. Now today is Sunday, which means that we're going to have a special Sunday message. And we will have always have a Sunday message. And this message will be taken from all sorts of different religions. And some of them will be followed by a special prayer. Now, I myself am a Christian, and I believe in that way. That doesn't mean that there is not a good truth that is found in my religion that is also found in other religions. That's what we're going to focus on. The truth that is in all religions that we all know to be true. We don't have to focus on each other's differences. Now, if I am doing the prayer that week, I cannot pray in uh, any other name except for Jesus Christ, because that's what I myself believe. But I believe that that God has given truth to all people, and so we can all focus on that truth. Now, today's message, we're going to start with Christianity, because that's what I am, and next week we'll do another religion. but. This message comes from the Bible, the New Testament, and from the Epistle of Galatians, which was written by the Apostle Paul. Now I'm going to be using the King James Version for this special message. And it goes starting in chapter 5, verse 13, for brethren Ye have been called unto liberty, only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So we all have liberty, and this liberty comes from God. Uh, the word liberty here is also freedom. And that's how it's used in other translations. But both liberty and freedom is, can be thought of the same thing. Now, we are to use our freedom to do good. And to strive to do good. If we are using our freedom for, for uh, bad purposes, and that's not, though we, we are free to do that, that's not good for ourselves and for the community. But here's the, the highest point of the, of the law of God, to love your neighbor as yourself. And uh, continuing on, Paul writes, But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Now that could be a little confusing, so let's look at that in a different translation. This comes from the, uh, the Revised Standard Version. It says, But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you are not consumed by one another. The Modern Language Bible says, If, however, you tear it at and consume one another, look out or you will be destroyed by each other. So, if we are doing bad things, and we are taking advantage of our neighbors and seeking to overcome our neighbors or to get gain off of our neighbors, then God is warning us to look out because we are going to destroy each other. This I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary the one to the other so that you cannot do the things that you would. So, we all have spirits, and our spirits are inside our bodies forming a soul. And when we desire and seek after bad things, these negative things, then our flesh, our body, is fighting against the spirit, 
and the spirit is fighting against the body. And so we have confliction. Now, uh, in the continuing on it says, But if you be led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now what does that mean? That does not mean that the law has no effect. What that means is that if you are following the Spirit, then you won't need the law, because you understand what is good and what is not good. The law was designed for people who did not understand the will of God. But when you have the, the Spirit of God with you, then you don't need that law because you understand already what to do. Now, the Apostle Paul says what the works of the flesh are. He says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, although some translations change it to to magic arts, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of these which I tell you before as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So basically the, this is the, the whole plan that if you do the good things of God, then you'll inherit the kingdom of God. But if you do these works of the flesh, which are concerning adultery, fornication, and um, all types of hatred, and murders, and drunkenness, and all, all the likes of the such, this is, these are the things that prevent us from inheriting the fullness of the, the kingdom of God. Now this is how we know we have the, the Spirit of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And again, remembering that so it's not the, that there is no law of God, it's that if we have the Spirit, we won't need the law because we already understand the will of God, and we'll have love and joy and peace, and we'll, be lo we'll have long-suffering, which, which is patience, and we'll be mild-mannered, and such like, stuff like that. So that is our message for the community today, to remember that we are free to choose on our own, that we should use that freedom to choose goodness rather than uh, badness. And if we continually are striving to follow the negative path, then we will destroy each other. And so I leave this with you in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Now, since I don't have anyone here with me, I would like to offer a special prayer on behalf of the community, and uh, and I will pray as a as a Christian because uh, that is what I believe. Our eternal Father in heaven, thank thee that we are able to to live according to your will. We thank thee for our, our wonderful community. We pray that your spirit will guide us in this community and that we will be able to work for love and to serve one another. We pray that our leaders will remember the constitutional law of this land, and they may be inspired to keep it, and that we as a community can continue to grow and be power prosperous and help one another. And we say these things in the name of thy Son Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me on the special Sunday message. And may God bless you.